Law enforcement agents in the Rio Grande Valley and all along the Texas-Mexico border now have more eyes in the sky to help them protect the homeland. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, recently approved the use of the General Atomics MQ-9 Predator B aircraft for use over Texas airspace. Unique from the fleet of aircraft used by the Department of Homeland Security, the Predator B is unmanned and remotely piloted from the ground. We frequently track vehicles uh, just to just observe uh, uh, what, they're, what they're doing. If they're in an uh, area that's known to have uh, smuggling problems or any kind of other problems like that. His pilot and sensor operator on ground control in Corpus Christi, Texas, are flying a Predator B north of Mexico in southeast Arizona. Pretty much with our radio systems that we have in the aircraft, we can talk to almost any law enforcement agency and we can actually link into their systems uh, and talk to those, those, those folks. The 10,500 pound plane can carry 3,900 pounds of fuel and can fly for 20 hours at a time. David Gasho is the director of operations for the unmanned aircraft systems based in Sierra Vista, California. Well, the airplane was initially employed in a tactical sense. We used it a lot in Arizona over the last five years supporting U.S. Border Patrol. Uh, cute events, seismic sensors, or somebody called and said, hey, we have some illegal activity. Take the camera cue to that event and determine whether it's legal or illegal uh, activity. Uh, bring in either helicopters or ground troops to interdict that. Program's moving to a strategic asset covering all of the southern border, uh, more into an intel collections. In other words, where are the areas that are now hot spots for Border Patrol and OFO and state and local? Uh, collecting information, responding to intelligence, uh, interdicting illegal uh, activities. The plane is equipped with a sophisticated camera system and cloud penetrating radar. The gear has the ability to produce wide images or zoom in close to examine objects. Uh, things like vehicles under tarps, you can see right through that. You can see with uh, some of the software where if you've done a baseline run in the morning, come back in the afternoon, I can tell you where a vehicle's drove, driven up and crossed, where activities changed, footprints that weren't there before. The Predator B also does impressive work on night duty. Well, from the altitude we fly, which is 19,000 feet above sea level, uh, at night with the infrared, I can pretty accurately tell whether somebody's carrying narcotics on their back from about eight miles out. So it's a pretty powerful camera. It's worth every penny that we paid for it. Speaking of cost, the Predator Beast price tag is $10 million, which includes the aircraft and its payload. At the inauguration of flight operations in Corpus Christi, Congressman Henry Cuellar pledged to fund the Predator B program, called for more plane production, and suggested the technology could be used to help Mexico in its war with the drug cartels. It's very easy if Mexico allows us where you can just shift the camera over and cover what happens in Matamoros, uh, covers in Reynosa, we we'll have Nuevo Laredo, Ciudad Juarez. We're not going to do that unless if Mexico gives us the permission. He says Washington is working with the Calderon administration to offer solutions. We got to make sure that we help our Mexican neighbors because again, we understand here in Texas that the Rio Grande does not divide us as two countries, but they actually uh, unites us as two countries. So if Mexico is secure, if Mexico is, uh, is protected, then that means that this will mean that we have better security on this side of the border. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Ray Pedraza, MCN.